Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIVS home school i am sabrina hawk assistant teacher of science national adult english version school teshi dear students today i am going to take a science class for class 5 student on the based on chapter 5 this is our first part of the chapter so let us move for our today's topic dear students our chapter 5 is energy and matter the first topic is energy energy is the ability to do things dear students this is the definition of energy energy is ability to do things we use energy in everything that we do now come to next point that is energy around us the question is what is energy we use energy to walk to, uh, to walk to school and to ride a bicycle. We need energy to run a computer or to cook our food. A car uses to run energy can, can change the form or position of something. That means energy is the ability to do things and energy can change the form or position of something. With these two lines you can give the answer what is energy now comes to form of energy there are many different form of energy like below <coughs> they the form of energy first the form of energy they given electrical energy the energy is used to run electric appliance such as fan tv light washing machine etc in the example they give the television picture now come to the mechanical energy the form of energy that a moving object has wind can be an example of mechanical energy because it can run windmill and energy of a moving car also mechanical energy in the example they give the figure of a running vehicle now come to the light energy the energy that can create different types of light and helps us to see is called light energy it can pass through transparent matter we get light energy from sun electric light candle there is the picture of as example of candle now come to the sound energy the energy that helps us to hear is called sound energy sound comes from the vibration of object it travels through air or other matter it used to enjoy music this is the picture of example this is the bell which is used in the school uh, and this is the this part is showing the vibration in the air and through this vibration the, when this vibration reaches to our ears that time we can hear the sound of ringing of the bell now come to the thermal or heat energy heat is a form of energy we get heat energy from the fire of stoves or electric iron this is the uh, fire of stoves and uh, the <coughs> pan is heating through the fire of stoves this is the example of heating ener heat energy now come to last one chemical energy chemical energy remains stored in food fuel or coal dear students this chart you have to learn now come to the sources of energy you have observed that energy is used in various work in different ways we get energy from different sources sometimes energy comes from coal oil or food and sometimes it comes from wind or water current sometimes we get energy from battery or generator we get heat light electric sound energy from those sources if we observe closely we found that the main source of all energy is the sun and we already learned several times the sun is the main source of all energy now here they give a table you have to make this table you have to fill up this table the way that the energy is used form of energy sources of energy if you see the picture this is the vehicle and <coughs> the way that is that vehicle is running through the help of the fossil fuel and the form of energy is chemical uh, the energy and the source of energy is fossil fuel and now come to the transformation of energy how does energy change its form then if you look this picture you can easily understand this here when we eat the food this is the picture of a guava we know plant use the sunlight pan trap the sunlight through photosynthesis it converts the light energy to the chemical energy when we eat the food 
when we, we eat that food we get the chemical energy and when we walk that time or when we run or when we work uh, do something that time we use that chemical energy and that chemical energy is transformed into mechanical energy we have learned that running is uh, working something moving something is mechanical energy and heat by using heat energy we are <coughs> drying the clothes and here the sun's light energy converts to the electrical energy through the solar panel and when we use this solar energy uh, when we turn on the uh, TV that time the TV con um, transform the electrical energy to the light sound and heat energy now come to the transfer of energy how does energy transfer now come to energy can be transformed from one place to another in many different ways. Transfer of heat. Transfer of heat is the flow of thermal energy uh, from warmer place to cooler place. Thermal energy is transferred through three different processes conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction. Transfer of heat through solid matters is called the conduction. For example, if we place a metal spoon in the hot water, the spoon, soon it begins to feel hot. The, this is because the spoon is heated by hot water and then the heat spreads to the colder end to the spoon of the spoon. Now come to the convection. The transfer of heat energy through the gases and liquids is called convection. This is the definition of convection. For example, when we put a pot of water on the stove, the heated water near the bottom of the pot rises to the top of the water. Instead of cold water near the top sink of the bottom of the pot and then it is heated up and rises to the top. Through this process, heat spreads from bottom to top. The, if you follow the peak picture this arrow if you follow the arrow this water is moving from down to top and top to down and with this rotation the total water of the pot become hot heated now come to the radiation <coughs> radiation is the process in which energy is emitted from a source without any medium and this is the definition of radiation conduction we can uh, work through solids and convection can work through liquids and gases but radiation can even work without any medium this is why we can feel the heat of the sun even though it is millions of kilometers away in space with the same process we feel the heat from the fire or light bulbs now come to transfer of light light is the form of energy that helps us to see light travels at radi radiation and light can transfer without any medium dear student this is the answer of how does light transfer uh, from one place to another place such as solids liquids and gases light does not need any medium to transfer this is how light for, uh, from the sun this is how light from the sun the moon the stars reaches the earth dear students uh, here transformation of energy you have to follow the page number 33 of your book there is written so nicely i just uh, follow this picture and i have told again uh, when we eat the food the chemical energy transform uh, transform into mechanical energy when we work the uh, solar panel transform the light energy to the electrical energy and that t when we switch on the television that time the electrical energy transform into heat and light heat and sound energy when the windmill moves that time mechanical energy transform into electrical energy and this is way, this is the way that does the transformation of energy occurs now come to the homework <coughs> we have already discussed the part one of the chapter five you have to make five fill in the blanks from this part of the chapter and you have to submit on saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m dear student i have finished my today's topic hope you have understood read the chapter properly do your hw regularly submit it regularly thank you all have this